now that we can get into some of this stuff here. Namely, the main topic that's been going on, that's been getting everybody riled up, is this whole Trump shooting. I did a post on it not too long ago when it happened in real time. You know what I'm saying? Catching that algo. Um, I didn't really get to catch it as much as I wanted to. I guess they didn't really care about what a Canadian thinks about what happened with Trump. Let me ask y'all. Um, Because a lot of people have been saying with this whole Trump thing that it's staged, it's fixed. Before I get into that, I want to do something quick, fast. Okay. And then we'll get into the Trump shit. All right. Big salute to the sponsors. Can't forget that. All right. Keeping us, keeping us toasty out here. All right. Big salute to Diamond Club. Diamond Club, they, they have the, their carry of candy cans and all types of good, loud, loud, loud. All right. They have delivery all across the GTA and across Canada. Make sure to hit them up on their Instagram page. Diamond Club underscore Canada, and you can get yourself a little discount if you use the code We Love Hip Hop. All right. Again, that's Diamond Club underscore Canada on Instagram. You could also find them on the Seven Days of Weed website, and uh, they will handle your order. Also, if you need some of that blem to mix with that, get some of that steaming hot grabber. Get the one with the with the We Love Hip Hop guys on the cover right there. All right. Some of that um, red herring grabber, some of that red rose grabber. Any type of grabber flavors and different ways that they dispense to grab in shakers, the bags of grabber, anything you need. All right. Hit them up on their Instagram page, steaming hot grabber. And you could also use the code We Love Hip Hop and get yourself a little discount. All right. Now let's get to this Trump shit. Let's see here. What I will do, what I will do is I will go into these internet streets and just go for a cold update. Actually, I got something I want to show y'all. Let's do that first. I want to show y'all something. Because I found this hilarious. These niggas is bugging out, bro. Let me show you this on Instagram. Bada boom, bada bing. Watch this. Hold on, let me play the music. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Please tell me that this is a made up video. This is it. Because I'll come and take your life away. Jeez. Big man Trump. He got the, the bandage up on his ear. The man is not playing. He's giving me copyrights early in the stream. Let's go, Trump. Wish step on many, many men. Wish step on me. Oh. Let's go. That's his son in the in the building, too. Look at this nigga right here. So they try to take out old 45, Colt 45. Um, I want to ask y'all, first of all, in the chat, before we get into any of these updates, do y'all think... Oh, let me take the caps off. Do y'all think this Trump shooting was staged? Okay, that's what I want to know from y'all. Because there's been a lot of different people giving their opinions on this. Shooting is staged. Boom. Bare question marks. All right. This is what I want to know from y'all. Because there's been so many different questions. How could there be a guy on the roof for so long? A lot of different questions. And valid questions. I'm not even going to act like they're not valid questions. Okay. Let's go to a couple of Instagram pages and, and see some of the things here. Maybe Ack might have posted some of this. I know Ack is a heavy trumper. Um, about some of these other angles of the whole Trump shooting. I know he posted, um, oh, this is the shooter right here. Thomas Crooks. 18-year-old. All right. 
Let me go up on YouTube. Oh, and 50. Many, 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 many. 50 got the, the Trump on top of his, the Trump face on top of his album cover. Holy shit. Hip hop. But let's get to the shits here. Actually, let me hear what um, this motherfucker had to say. Well, you don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. Are you a Zionist? Oh, I'm not doing that. Still to speak Mormon. What we'll do is we'll go up on YouTube and see some of these videos in regards to uh, the Trump thing. And there's some people who have been getting canceled over this whole Trump thing, too. I want to get into that as well. Um, let me pull up my YouTube. Let's go up on YouTube and see what's happening. And we'll just do a cold search. Bang. Trump update. Let's see what's happening here in the world of Trump. So debunking conspiracy theories around Trump assassination. Ooh, what's this all about? In the immediate aftermath of the attempted assassination of Donald Trump, misinformation and conspiracy theories spread rapidly online. It took authorities roughly eight hours to publicly confirm the identity of the gunman because he was not carrying ID. This allowed ample time for unfounded theories about the gunman's identity to spread widely. As reports of the shooter's name began to surface and the FBI confirmed his identity as Thomas Matthew Crooks, many on social media began posting a photo of someone they thought was the shooter. But this image was incorrect. The person who was actually in the photos responded on X posing as the real shooter and mocking those who shared images of him. My name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. I hate Republicans. I hate Trump. And guess what? You got the wrong guy. <laughs> These guys are crazy. Still, screenshots and edited clips of the video spread widely as though it were a message from the real shooter. Another widespread conspiracy theory shared by would-be internet sleuths claimed that a dark spot on Trump's chest in a photo was proof he had been shot in the chest and had been saved by a bulletproof vest. What? Come on. Y'all need to take the tinfoil hats off. That's crazy. Photos of the same moment show there is no bullet hole in his jacket. No. Trump later released a statement saying he was shot in the ear. This unfounded theory was viewed millions of times after being shared by several popular accounts. Oh, are you ready? On you. Ready? Move. Oh. This same moment also fueled conspiracy theories that the shooting was staged. In one post viewed millions of Yeah, that's got a got a lot of people kind of on their conspiracy bag right now. They're like, how is it that the Secret Service let this nigga stand up after you know, after all that shooting, I understand where a lot of people are coming from. They're like the the area must be completely cleared before Trump can stand up and and do all that waving and you know, God bless America stuff. I get it. I understand. It does look a little little, little shady. I'm not gonna lie. However, I I don't know. In the grand scheme of things. I see Trump as a little bit different than other presidents and what usual protocol goes through. He kind of doesn't follow protocol. He doesn't read teleprompters. So if they had a protocol of keeping him down and getting him out of there and he was like, let me up, let me up. And Trump's not no little dude. He's a pretty big guy. If you, I've never seen him in person, but from what people say, he's, he's supposed to be a pretty big guy. I don't know. I think he might have just said, yo, I want to get up. I want my shoes. Let me get up. And let me get a moment out of this. He's a, he's a showman. Of times, an ex user claimed if there were actual danger, the Secret Service would not have allowed Trump to remain a target after shots were fired. Former Secret Service agents the journal spoke to said the agents around the former president were acting in a way that was consistent with the agency's protocol. Hold on, you're headed to the body. So we gotta move to the bus. They moved quickly to surround him and then worked together effectively to move him from the stage once it was safe to do so. The rush to establish a motive for the shooting also led to viral misinformation. Let's hear this. Let's hear this. 
claimed the video of a man shouting hateful comments about Republicans was of the shooter. In reality, the video is of an Arizona State University student reacting to Trump's acquittal after his impeachment trial in 2020. Crooks was still in high school at the time in Pennsylvania. Thomas Crooks. They got a lot of wild conspiracy theories rolling around about this. Um, salute to the Wall Street Journal. Let me let me look up something here. Trump shooting before. I want to see some of these rallies attend spot. Because, you know, a lot of people are saying about how everybody is yelling, hey, he's right there. Look, they're all pointing. Right there. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Right there. See him? He's laying down. See him? Yeah, he's laying down. What's happening? Yeah, look. There he is. Because we have millions and millions of people in our country that shouldn't be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have criminals. We have criminals. And this is courtesy of the Guardian. Guardian. Salute to the Guardian. That's crazy. That is a little kind of an X file sound could be put in right there. Just a little bit. Ain't nobody doing nothing about this thing on the roof. So wait a minute. From the time they realized he had a gun, that's when the shooting happened. So was he concealing the gun when he was standing, when he was laying down on the roof? Hmm. Let's go back. Let's go back. See somebody there? Get him. Stay over here. He's on top of the roof. Don't go over there. Also, people were saying um, the conspiracy theorists, or some of the cons- conspiracy, actually all of the conspiracy theorists, were saying, mm, sounded, I don't know, it didn't really sound like gunshots to me. All these people that were saying they don't sound like gunshots to me, like, what do y'all, what are you, what's your reference point? Movies? Really and truly, because a lot of people who say that, I don't really think ever heard gunshots in real life outside somewhere. They haven't been at a jam. There's different types of gunshots. Not all gunshots go boom. You know what I mean? It wasn't like he was up there with a with a double barrel shoddy. He had a rifle. When you shoot the rifle, it doesn't make that crazy of a sound. As somebody who shot a rifle before, yes, they're loud, but they're not loud like like a 45 loud or 38 type of loud. And listen, this is just stuff that I heard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me um, go through a couple of other videos here because the conspiracy theories have been wild. Let's finish this first. What's this like an aerial view? The guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof, telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see Binoculars. Him? Could they see him? Probably not because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind. Hold on. Let me take a look at this right here. So this is where the rally was happening, where y'all see me um, putting this, my circle right around here with the cursor. 
And these are the three roofs or roofs. Roofs, roofs. I don't know which one. Um, so I guess this brown one, is this the one that he was on in the middle or was it this one on the side here? Because this is a great area. Oh, and it is also over here. Keep in mind also, and listen, I'm not one of these conspiracy theorists who are like, yeah, Trump got himself shot. I'm not taking that possibility off the table. I'm not one of those. I'm down for anything. We could talk about it. Hold on. Let me pull up um, AGB. The Dawn. What up, fam? What's going on? Not much. What you saying? You, you got the Lokes on today. What's popping? No, Looking very Lokish. Uh... My uh, eye here that's all fucked up, it's, it's it's bugging me. So rather than wearing an eye patch, I'll use these. You got pink eye or something, bro? No. I remember, yeah. I, you know I don't see out of this eye really, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I shattered that side of my face when I was like 14, 15. And just yeah. every once in a while, like the eye like has, I don't know, mid vision, I guess. Not blind, but not great. Mm. But every once in a while, it starts to hurt and be really light sensitive. So I'll be wearing sunglasses indoors and shit for a little while. Hey, roll with it, man. It's <laughs> hip hop, man. Yeah, look that. <laughs> so let me ask you. Um, you obviously have been completely filled in on this whole Trump shooting and stuff like that. How much reactions have you seen from it so far? A lot. I mean a lot in every way, shape, and form. The one thing I want to say is I've seen a few people be really like really kind of like this kind of disgusting with i'm not talking about the conspiracies i'm talking about people just being like yeah well that's what he gets and i'm just like what the fuck it's like hey, hold on hold on you gotta watch the cursing <laughs> like if you said something i didn't like and i punched you you'd call the police like and like you're all mad about trump and now you want him dead like i don't know i just look at it like people need to like if you're so angry vote yeah it's it's kind of weird when you see people just wishing for somebody to be to be dead like how much can you hate a guy you like I mean, do you really think we'd be better off if he was dead i think we'd be in a worse place to be honest from a canadian perspective i really don't have i i guess a dog in the race or a dog in the fight whatever it is a horse in the race <laughs> you know what i mean like we're like a satellite state of america so however good they do is how good we do more or less this is also true and it also sets a bad precedent, right? Because yeah. if that can happen over there in the United States, then Trudeau's toast. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Trudeau has a chance, bro. In our system and how long he's been around. and Like, it's hard for any candidate, even if you're good, for people to let you in after eight years. People just tend to hate you. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying, like, if you know. they can, if they can um, graze Trump's ear... Then they can get a full headshot. My G, there's pictures of Justin Trudeau skiing with other people skiing by him from the, like a last winter, bro. Of <laughs> yeah. course he could here, but who 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 would risk their life for for the Canadian Prime Minister? Bro? Like if you're going to if you're going for a political guy, you're not going for the Prime Minister of Canada. I don't know, man. There's a lot of people who have some serious hate for Trudeau, bro. Yeah, Somebody you, might just bro have a chance. You like. Have a chance. Uh, their detail is not as heavy as the United States. Somebody could just roll up on the man and shank him. They don't even have to. No, shank I, him. I, I agree with you. It doesn't seem like it's that hard. Like there's often you see him when he leaves places. There's crowds of people yelling at him from like five feet away. Like people hit him with like projectiles and stuff like that. Their food and shit, like a bullet. Like you don't even need to get on a roof. <laughs> now the way people hate Trudeau. People are going to miss that when he's gone. People are going to be like, because they have like little get togethers and stuff everywhere he goes and they go protest. Food fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got somebody who's actually one of those people. Um, let me see. Um, I'll, pull, I'll pull up Amanda Seals. She's one of these people who were very conspir conspiratorial when it comes to this. And then I have somebody else who got canceled oh, because you know, they... uh, I'll just add two things. Okay, so the building mm -hmm. that uh, the shooter shot from, there was police in the building, like securing the building, but from inside. Right. And allegedly, why they didn't put snipers on that roof is because the roof was sloped and it was a safety hazard. But if you look at the picture of where the snipers are, they're on a, a, a roof that's sloped more. 
So there are the Secret Service is already coming out with lies. <sighs> That's spooky. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it was it was too sloped for them, but not too sloped for the shooter. Yeah, hmm. well, and apparently they, they people were talking about the shooter way before. At, like to me, I'll be honest, what I'm thinking it, it's looking like is just the Secret Service is like kind of trash, bro. Like you can't have people that are like five three guarding someone who's six foot two and trying to be part of the human shield. It just it just doesn't work. Like what are, yeah. like, what's going on? Yeah, dude is six foot three. Eight. Trump's he's a pretty big no, human. Trump's six two. He's tall. He's big. Yeah. But then two hundred and two hundred and what is it? Two hundred twenty seven pounds. <laughs> two thirty five allegedly. You know, like him and Tom Brady are pretty like neck and neck in terms of fitness and weight and height you know of course of course <laughs> let's hear what amanda seals had to say and then i'm going to play you something for somebody some people who got canceled they're out they're outside of hip-hop but they got canceled crazy you ain't got to like biden you just ain't got to like donald trump you ain't got to like kamala oh no 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 i don't want to hear this i want to see the um there's a video of her. I want. There's a reaction from a few people. Let me see this. Let's use the Perry production of Medea runs for president. I lived in Harlem long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on the stove. <laughs> Where'd the blood come from? In theater, in movies, they have what's called blood pellets. You, they even, That's you know, a lot of people using Halloween it's basically like a pellet rifles like that that type of rifle what would though she's thinking okay because she's like i've been i lived in harlem and i've heard gunshots before yeah but that's not that kind. like where would you like when like where would you get a long enough shot from the like ground shootouts in harlem that like realistically people aren't using those kind of rifles like that and if i'm not mistaken he might have had like a 22 rifle right and doesn't mean it has like a 22 caliber like a like a like a deuce deuce a 22 rifle is different. You know what I'm saying? And it does it's not that loud. Yeah, no. Like that's even what we me and Pino were saying on the stream. Right away when we first heard it, I'm like I'm 90% sure that's a 22 because of the way it sounds. Like with a 22 it's that gun where if you really only hear one shot, you're not going to think it's a gunshot. It's only when you hear to start to hear a few. And to okay. Be yeah. It might not be one of those because remember it was semi-automatic, right? And uh, listen, we're giving <laughs> we're giving some real gun knowledge right now. It was semi-automatic, right? So it was like pop, 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 pop. And anytime I busted off a 22, it's like pop, pop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Unless but, there's I mean, a way to modify it. In America, there's plenty of ways to get a 22 to shoot more semi-auto. Depends what he has, though. Yeah. Like, I've heard he had an AR-15 at one point, but I don't even know if that's true. That's possible. Like, it's very possible. And, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, like, in the U.S. you can do with a gun that can make it sound different. So it's hard to say. Like, until they'll come out and say eventually, I'm sure. Yeah. But the, the fact that, like, oh, no, it sounded like popcorn. That wasn't real bullets. And what what's your thoughts on the blood pellet? The, the like, What they use in Hollywood and stuff. This is, I'll tell you this is the same thing I said the other day. Listen, if he if, if someone on either side, Republicans or Democrats, wanted to fake that, they could. They have the money and they have all the stuff around them. Like you have billions of dollars and government stuff at your disposal or ex-government stuff, but connections. You can do something like that and make it look pretty realistic. The problem is you pretty much really have to kill someone, which is crazy. And you have to risk almost getting shot because they what, facts. It, what like there was real shots. All that's pretty confirmed. And like maybe if he was losing desperately, I would feel like it. But he was winning and only growing. And like he was at his best moment. So I like he just if came from a very successful debate. <laughs> yeah. Here's what I'll say. If it's a conspiracy and I'm not saying it can't be because like the, the lack of how bad the Secret Service was. It's like either that's great incompetence or it's like it's a conspiracy. One of the two. Now, I'm, I'm starting to lean towards it was just crazy incompetence. Mm. Um, but if it's a conspiracy, it almost to me looks like it would be like not Joe Biden, but some people behind him somewhere that would have had more of a, a reason to do something like that. I have a theory, but I'm going to I'm going to hold it for a second and I'll give it to you guys after. 
but my theory might be a little bit wild. Yeah, what I think really got them, and this happens a lot in the U.S., is like here when you have like multiple law enforcement agencies um, at one scene, they all use one frequency in Canada, right? Like they all get together on one thing. They're all in communications. They know the direct chains of command. It's one group. It's a bunch mm. of groups, but they're basically one when they're together, right? It's not like that in the U.S. In the U.S., it's a bunch of different groups. It's like, okay, you guys are in charge of this. You guys are in charge of this. And they don't really have direct communication a lot of the time. Yeah, that's FBI, what Secret that's Service. Um, I'm going to play something from here. These guys. Um, All right. So some. You met, you know who Jack Black is, obviously. Yeah. Right? And Jack Black has a rock band. Him and um, yeah, Tenacious I, I, I D, basically. About this, yeah. And big salute to Too Lazy to Try, um, their their channel over here. These guys usually cover comedians and stuff like that and um, podcast. However, these this guy from Tenacious D, this old man here, he hates Trump. I think Jack Black is on that on that boat too, but this guy ruined himself. So I'm gonna play something. The uh, like we just saw with Jack Black and Kyle Gass. Things have not been going very well for them since the assassination attempt, and that might have ended Tenacious D, because, of course, they hate Trump, and they had a show the day after everything, so I'm sure beforehand they're all pissed off and getting all worked up about it, and during the show, they're probably thinking about it like crazy as well, so eventually, Kyle, he just couldn't help himself, and he had to say something stupid about it. I mean, the guy must have no self-control. Like, just don't talk about Trump. It's not that hard, especially after what just happened. You know, but of course, he's all emotional about it. And he just let it get to him on his birthday, too. You know, it's sad. This guy spent his whole birthday obsessing over Trump to the point where it might have ended Tenacious D. It might have destroyed his career and it ended the tour for good. So he Suckers. screwed up massively here. And people around him should have been telling him, like, please just don't bring it up on stage. I know you hate Trump. I know you're all worked up about this, but just don't mention it on stage. You know, it's not going to help at all. Of course, all so here's what he said. Is Donald Trump. Don't miss Trump next time. <laughs> yeah, so that was really smart. I mean, I so he did that. Yeah. So you want to know something funny is they, they, he basically had to leave Australia because there was a bunch of MPs trying to get him deported. <laughs> they did. They, they're trying to. They I mean, in a lot it. of places, that's technically a hate crime. That is like, don't miss next time. Maybe not in the U S but in like in Canada, like, listen, you good luck getting a judge to press it for you. You said it about Trump, but let that be like uh, someone out here who's liked, and you and that happens, and you go say stuff like that, you might get arrested. Yeah, yeah. And this guy now, like the, the, obviously, like I like you said, they got he got deported. They got deported, or he got deported. Jack I Black. Just, I don't think they actually got deported. I think they just left. They just left. They were out of there, right? Basically, it takes like a bit to deport someone, you know, if they're gonna fight it and all that. And they're probably leaving anyway, yeah. but. Jack Black has to separate himself from this guy now. And people are giving Jack Black backlash. Because they're like, yo, how you just abandon your homie like that? In this situation, let me ask you. And let me ask the comment gang, too. Are you leaving your homie because he got canceled for saying Trump should have got hit the next time? No, but I, I, I like when it's just me and him, like he's going to catch a beating <laughs> for sure. Like it's been like, like I'm going to be ma like, I'm a ride. Like as long as it's nothing like that's out of bounds, like you touch someone or like a kid, like something like that. Yeah. Like, something that's out of bounds. Like for the most part, especially if like we've been good for a while, like I'm going to, I'm going to ride with the person probably, but I'm definitely going to like make sure they know I'm not happy about this. Guys, it's like they don't know about it for sure. Like you, you're my best friend. We have a show together, and you caused this because you couldn't not say that on stage. Like, no, we had shows together. Well, yeah, because exactly. now they had to cancel a whole bunch of tour dates and stuff because of this. Man, they're getting too much backlash. Oh, well, I mean, if 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 it's like he's kicked out from everything and I'm not, I'll still do it. And then when but it they can't do tenacious D. They can't do tenacious D without the other. Like I, I guess without the other guy. 
Even though Jack Black is the main character in there, you know what I'm saying? They still yeah, can't do it without the other well. dude. Like, I mean, what else can you do? It's done. I'd just be really angry at the guy. Ah, listen, bro. They rich anyway, or at least Jack's rich. I know Jack's rich. He can go yeah. and do some do some movies, you know what I'm saying? But his homie, ah, like, I don't agree with what he said, but he kind of left him to hang out to dry, bro. In my opinion. What, what, what do you mean, who? Jack, he's separated himself from the dude. He's like, yo, I can't like, mess with homie right like, now. Completely like cut him off, like unfollowed him, not helping him at all. I, I don't know, but if he took it that far, but like he had, he made some statements saying that him and him and dude can't really be around each other right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still willing to be around the guy, but like you know, if, if I'm able to work and you're not because you said something dumb, I'm gonna keep working, but I'm also not gonna like throw you under like i'm not gonna disassociate i guess i'm still gonna like what i would say to anyone is like yo he said something dumb like you've never said anything dumb yeah i mean you're asking me i've said so much dumb stuff like i've said ridiculous amounts everyone knows that like yeah i'm I'm going through his um his twitter right now and i don't really see anything he's giving his biden endorsement <laughs> you gotta get that in Right, but I'm not seeing anything that's out of the ordinary as far as his um him backing homeboy. All right. See Clooney and Julia Roberts wanted me to help out the president and speak here tonight, and I said I am in. Look at the man's overalls. <laughs> when and where. <laughs> and then, thank you. I mean, I can't take it seriously. It doesn't look genuine. It looks like I know we suck. I'm just trying to hide it with colors. These guys get paid big dollars also to do the, to do these endorsements. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, yeah, bro. This political stuff is so much money. So, so I'm gonna give my theory. Quick fast. Because what are we 40 minutes in? I'm, I'm not trying to spend the whole thing on something non-hip hop related. Yeah, no, facts. It's big enough where you gotta spend a bit of time on it. But you no, can't no, facts, it. facts, yeah. facts. I'm getting way too many fruit flies in here today. But I think that Trump got some really some bad people that are protecting him or somebody in his inner circle who want him dead. That's my, that's my theory. Yeah, I agree with you. There could be people who want him dead, but this was definitely incompetence. It's hard to say if people were adding to that incompetence, mm. but definitely there was incompetence. Like, yeah, but I, I think know, that's purposeful. I think I, I, I'm, on his like, own side, I'm not saying the Democrats want him dead. I think, he needs to be sleeping with one eye open. If I was him, I'd be paranoid as shit right now. Like, one, you guys failed me and let me get grazed. Which one of you guys are the mole? Which one of you guys are compromised? Or is there somebody that's not even Secret Service who's directing my Secret Service to let somebody try to kill me or something? Yeah, here's my two what I think. One of them is pretty much what you're saying. Like, <clears throat> there's people who really want to get them that are letting letting stuff like like trying to force stuff to happen and setting things up or the other one that i think is like they all just don't like trump so much they mm. care so little they're not put like maybe not exactly the agents that are right around them because i'm sure some of them care so a few of them that day did a really good job most of them know some yeah yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right after someone gets shots at them, when you're right there and you're jumping on them, you're doing a good job. But <clears throat> I think, like, it might have just been, like, because, look, they didn't give RFK um, Secret Service protection. And he's had two family members assassinated running for president. Mm -hmm, or one mm -hmm. was president. One was right? president. They didn't yeah. give him that until this happened. So... It could be that they're just like, oh, let's just get like we just we're gonna give them minimal effort on that. We're gonna give them the worst people. We're not we're not gonna do it to the level we should because we just don't like the guy. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And it's yeah. like they don't really care about him. He's not an insider like some of the other ones. Somebody yeah, said here he definitely in the... needs to be more careful of who's around him. Like in his position, mm. he needs to assume the latter in it. Just assume it could be any of them and be prepared for whatever incompetence or incompetence plus malice. Like you just assume it's both. Listen, I don't know if they already had this as a protocol, but you taste my food first. Take a bite. I ain't eating that until you take a bite. That's how I'd be moving if I was that dude. Yeah. Uh, like he needs. I don't to care if you bought me McDonald's and it came right out the paper and, and or came right out the bag. 
you take a bite of that shit first. Yeah, and it, it's crazy because there's a lot of, like, from back a lo- few years ago now, there's a lot of really conspiratorial people that said all the things that they were going to do to Trump, and everyone was like, no, no, no. And every one of them's happened. Like, they've tried to kill him. They've tried to get him in every way. Like, to me, it's just like, listen, like, even with the the cases against him, I'm like, I don't disagree that he's probably done some illegal shit. Yeah. But, like, let's go after Obama now. Let's go after Bush. Let's go after Clinton. We go after all of them with the same amount of, of effort. How much stuff are we going to find? So and it's like, you got to do it with everybody. Put it this way. Somebody comes in, you know, Mr. President, would you like some lemonade? Yeah, you take a sip first. <laughs> There's nothing. I'm not doing nothing around any of you guys. You, yeah. you see my ear right here? Mm. Yeah, like this comment. Everybody's said, under you, investigation. You explain everything. Like you gotta just. I would be so paranoid right now. Yeah. So paranoid. Like I, I'm not having people in back of me now. I'm doing that shit with at least like the the bulletproof glass in front of me. You know, like extra precautions. Yeah, I need security for the security now. Yeah, no, I'd probably hire. He's got the money. I'd hire my own private security to watch too, and like. Yeah, let me get some undercovers in here. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's just around, somebody who's just watching you guys from afar. You, you know what I mean? You could think yeah. he's have a shooter, ever, but he works for me. Yeah, I got to ask. Have you ever shot like a rifle with a scope, like a, like for hunting or whatever, anything like that? Yes. So you know that how short that shot was, right? Like that, when I heard how short it was, I was like, I could take my mom out and in a couple of hours have her making that shot. Like not necessarily bro that field and a half bro if you you've got time to practice and you've got a well site you probably hasn't used a really high-end site if you have a high-end site my dog that's like nothing i'm telling you that's nothing i could take i could get i could get you shooting like that in like an hour hitting it every time an amateur could do it maybe not i don't think a full amateur could do it with all the pressure yeah and another thing too, like a professional sniper, if he was, they usually go to the body. Yeah, go to right through the heart or something. Yeah, because you, you're much more likely to get the hit. I mean, if you hit someone mostly anywhere in here with one of those with the amount of power they have behind them, they're probably gone. Yeah. But yeah, it's a it's a messed up topic. I'm glad he's still here. That's yeah, a, me too, man. Even if it was like i don't like trudeau at all but if if that was trudeau i'd have the same sentiment like yo that sucks but i'm glad that you didn't you didn't get killed because that sets a bad precedent yeah and it's like if you believe like if the person or who on the other side of anyone if you believe that your ideas are so much better than the other person's then just keep arguing them and eventually if you have the better logic you'll win out most of the time when you respond to violence it's usually when like You've either just lost it or, you know, like you have no other way to argue your ideas and stand up properly. Yeah. Old John Crow says Melania wants out. Facts. I haven't um, seen her with him in a while. Why? <laughs> Listen, they, she already got the, the, the memo. Don't be next to him on these days. Yeah. <laughs> There's bullets flying. Well, listen, but I'm going to get off of this it. Trump shit, man. <laughs> um, what you got going on? Um, and Are you y'all going live tonight? I don't think we're going live tonight. Probably tomorrow. Okay, plug plug the live, plug the raw talk. Yeah, bro. For everyone in the chat, you guys got to go check out raw talk. He's right. Our, our, um, the podcast I have over there, we do it live a couple times a week on random nights. Usually like eight eight forty five, we start. We go for like two hours. You just write PNO on YouTube and then hit the lives on that channel, and uh, you'll find it right there. Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, we'll tap in soon, brother. And yo, sh- just before we go, shout out to you for that. Uh, that big video you had, uh, what was it, last week? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, dope. yeah. I saw a lot of people reacting to that. We're going to have to play that on stream. And, uh, bro, you got, you, got, you definitely got to hit those uh, those documentaries like you were saying before. <laughs> and talk to me after. Give me an idea. I'll make another one for you. So that way, like, we can keep it going. So I want to see you get that plaque, bro. I think it's yeah, important. Man. No, salute to you, brother. Uh, and we, we, we're grinding towards that 100,000 plaque just now. You know what I mean? That's big facts, bro. Hold it down, uh, eh? All right, brother. Hold Bless. On. Big salute to AGB, man. That's the down right there. Um, I'm going to keep it moving, though. Salute to Trump. He's still alive. We love hip-hop. 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 Hip-hop.